again welcome back to Armstrong circuit tutorial now let's make step by step the power inverter place the NE 555 timer IC then connect pin 2 to pin 6 and connect pin 4 to 8 connect 1 kilo ohms resistor to pin 4 and 8 and connect the opposite to pin 7 then connect a 50 kilo ohms variable resistor in between 1k and pin 7 then connect the middle pin to pin 2 and 6 and connect the opposite to the ground pin and connect 1k resistor to pin 3 and the opposite connected to the anode of the LED and the opposite of the LED connected to pin 1 then connect another 1 kilo ohms resistor to pin 3 and connect the opposite to the gate then place the power transformer and connect one terminal to the drain of the MOSFET then connect the opposite terminal of the power transformer to the power supply then connect the source of the MOSFET to pin 1 and connect the light bulb from the output of the transformer and finally place the battery or the power supply to pin 4 and 8 and the negative connected to pin 1 now let's see the actual circuit on my breadboard as you can see the neither pin of the multi-tester moving now let's zoom out and you can see the arrow pointing to 230 volt AC now let's check the input voltage of the transformer now you can see the neither pin moving to third board so let's zoom out and see so the arrow pointing to third board DC now let's go back to the circuit as you can see the light bulb is glowing I'm using 5 watts 220 volt AC so this circuit 
you can increase the wattage by changing the transformer because I'm only using 750 milliamp transformer and you can also changing the MOSFET to higher current like IRF 44N or IRF 1404 so I'm just using the MOSFET current only 18 milliamp and you can download the circuit diagram of this project I just put the link in the description below actually I'm using again any 555 timer IC and you can also watching my video tutorial about the three mode setting of the NE555 timer IC part one the stable mode which is related to this circuit part two the by stable mode and part 3 the mono stable mode and I just put the link in the description below so that is how the simple power inverter working so guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share so thank you for watching my video tutorial before I go so let me shout out to those commenting on my previous project how the pre club circuit so shout out to Java Jack 59 shout out to electronic circuit and to Suman Chandra official